Hi guys, this is Rico coming back with another video. And today we're gonna to be going over is how to check for a contactor. This is a single, how to check if it's good or bad and when to replace. This is a single pole, one shunt contactor. Um, so yeah, this is not a two pole, this is a single pole. It's a Titan. Um, but yeah, we're gonna see how to check using our multimeter how to check to see when a contactor is good so these contactors are a little newer so they have a cover over here so if you want to engage it you'd have to take this off or when it gets energized by 24 volts and then these are a little bit better too because they have the bottom that's surrounded and covering the coil so that coil doesn't get damaged um but yeah Let's see, so we're gonna wanna take this off. The older ones didn't really have that. So, this little cover. It's to protect, you know, the these contacts right here from like ants or spider webs. Sometimes that stuff can get in there. Oh, and that's another reason, yeah, either spider webs or ants down here in, you know, in South, we're in, live in Texas so there's like a lot of ants so they can get pretty pitted in there in those contacts in there and it'll it'll stop it from getting voltage to go across so that that'd be one reason usually if those ants get in those contactors you know it'd be best to replace it instead of trying to take these contacts and clean them um contactors are not bad but in here sometimes those contact oh also too if ants don't get in it, eventually over time when it, you know, engages for a long time and if you've had in contact for 10 plus years or so, usually they go back because these, inside these contacts get pitted, start arcing. Um, and that can cause for, you know, to have voltage to go across. It'll lose like a voltage drop. Um, but yeah, the way to tell is we can check continuity first. Um... So yeah, you get your leads, you can switch it to continuity. That's how I usually check. And then we can check ohms as well. But usually you wanna try. Right now it should be OL because the, on this con on this point from here to ears should be open because this contactor is not engaged. So it should be, put one there. Engage it. Now you have continuity. See that? So that's good. So you know your, you know your actual contact end is not stuck down. So that's good. You don't want that stuck. So that's good. And then this one should have already continuity because it's it's already connected. So you check this here, which that is good. Let's check that. Um, let's see. Another way to tell if it's contactors not good is you can check the coil. Switch your multimeter to ohms. Usually the coil you check from here, this side to the other side, because there's a little coil inside there where it connects here, and it's it's inside. It's wrapped like a coil. So whenever you get 24 volts here, this engages. Um, but sometimes your coil can go, it can burn out. Um, so a way to check that is put one lead here. Like that, and you can do the other lead. And then usually in the range of contact or coil, get like 20 to 20 to 20 10 to 20 ohms usually that's what i that's what i've seen in the field usually anything below 15.1 that's good 10 to 20 ohms usually anything below 10 like one or two or three you, you kind of want to recommend replacing so you just check like that yeah 15 ohms is good for the coil so that's reading good if it was or if it was ol from 
from here to here and the meter read OL, you definitely want to replace because that's not going to work. Um, but yeah, that's good there. And also, when you check for for ohms for this, you get 24 volts here and then your contactor engages. If you were to get OL on this contact from here to here, then it's no good because you won't get voltage across this so you would do right now it's gonna read zero ohms which you want point four that's really that's good pretty much zero ohms that's what you want across this So yeah, this contactor is good, and then this one's gonna read zero ohms as well. It's already closed. Pretty much 0 0.4 zero ohms. So that's good. Um, if it read OL, it would be bad. Or if you press this in, you need to have continuity here, here, definitely replace. Make sure your, your coil is good as well. Make sure you got 10 to 20 ohms. Anything above 20 start, I would recommend replacing like on a maintenance or anything below 10 is definitely want to recommend um, for your contactor. But uh, yeah, that's how you check for, for a single pole contactor. If you think this video was informational, if you can give a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and I'll try to answer y'all's questions. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.